everyone out for themselves. And one day I got a chance to sell my soul, and I took it. Would you like to eat with me? When? You know what love is, Jack? My, my character, Jack, is a, he's an assassin. And so that he's, you know, he's obviously hired by someone to go out and, and do these pretty kind of ruthless killings. And along the course of the movie, pretty early on, he meets a nightclub singer. And the two of them realize just how kind of broken they are and um, hardened as well. And they kind of begin a search, whether they know it or not, to sort of figure out what it once was to be human. And at the same time, my character runs into a scientist who is played by Hugo Weaving, who starts to unravel um, the more uh, sadistic things that happened to my character as a child that have shaped uh, who he is now. Well, just, I mean, the whole film, the whole film felt like a dream come true, you know, filming Hong Kong, my favourite city in the world, you know, where Wong Kar Wai shoots all his films, amazing. Two, nightclub singer, come on. Like, that was my other dream, to be a pop star, you know, as a kid. Like, after watching Britney Spears when I was five years old, I was like, I want to do that. And then I watched Titanic and I was like, I want to do that. So to get to do both in a film and to be Brian Clodson's lover, come on. Not lover, soulmate, soulmate, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, but yeah, and, and to work with Ivan Sen, who is, if if Americans don't know, in one of the Australia's best auteurs, who's like a who does everything, one man band, shoots, directs, writes, casts, edits, does the steals, everything. So that yeah, that just was an incredible experience. The only chance is to stop seeing the girl. What if I can't stay away from her? then uh, you will die. The, probably the best kind of creative uh, human experience I could have asked for from an artistic standpoint. I know Ivan had been sort of fermenting with this idea for a good 10 years. And that was close to the last time I'd worked with him, but he pitched this idea to me back then. I had like a small cameo role in uh, Mystery Road, but Ivan and I hit it off like a house on fire there. It's not always um, the norm for an actor to get to work with someone who, of course, writes and also shoots, you know? And yeah, for me, it was just such a, a beautiful, life-changing experience. Like, it was like being in, in his painting. He's so specific. You know, there are certain colours that he works with. There are certain colours that he pulls out of you. Like an actual, you know, a color, like, um, yeah. And because it was such an intimate set, and and he works in that way as well. You, like you literally felt like you're in a dream world all the time. Like we rehearse before we shot the scene, and he's like, everyone out, you know. And and there are times we shoot the scene, and there's no one there besides like the focus puller, and like, and that's it, and him. You recently had any new type of experience? Like what? You got the girl. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. It's a cautionary tale. And that's, again, when it's told from an, an Indigenous standpoint, Ivan's one of our greatest Indigenous filmmakers ever. And he predominantly makes stories about the Australian desert. Now, he, he understood that the world is very much in a crisis right now. and this was sort of his way of shedding, in an artistic way, enlightenment onto where we're headed. And um, at times it's not pretty, but I think this film highlights the fact that if love is possible, then there's always a chance. And you should walk away. Have you ever been scared?